Rob, what is our fifth main topic today? John, our fifth main topic comes from Cool Kid 260. <laughs> I read that The Mandalorian Season 3 could come in February 2023. If this is true, that means Pedro Pascal could be in two big shows that air within one week from each other. This show and The Last of Us, which is set to come out in mid-January. Your thoughts on this? Uh, yeah, it won't be one week apart, cool kid, but we're about to be living in Pedro Pascal's world <laughs> because we already know how great and how popular and how beloved Mandalorian is, right? And from everybody I've talked to, Mandalorian Season 3 is fairly easily, they're telling me, the best season of Mandalorian they've done so far. And, you know, they've shown some previews. The previews have looked fantastic. We're all super excited about it. So we just found out for sure that Mandalorian, or sorry, uh, Last of Us, what was it, January 15th? Right. January 15th is when The Last of Us is going to air. Now, I think it's making Star Wars uh, is the outlet that came out and said they have found out, I think they're saying February 23rd. I think they're, that's when they're saying it was. Taylor, you can double check that with the link. But I think they're saying February 22nd. 22nd? Yeah, February Wednesday. 22nd. Now, they did kind of whisper at it was either Star Wars Celebration or D23 that the next season of Mandalorian would be coming in February of 2023. So we've kind of known that was a date coming. Now, it should it's important to note that Disney has come out and said, or Lucasfilm has come out and said that we haven't finalized our release date thing, but it's, it's looking like it's going to be February. Okay. So Last of Us and Mandalorian Season 3 will not be airing one week apart. It's going to be three or four. We're going to be three or four weeks into The Last of Us before it comes out. But for a good month or so. Yeah, there will be about four weeks of overlap. Probably about four something weeks of overlap. Probably the number one and the number two show in the world during that stretch are both going to be Pedro Pascal shows. How many episodes is Mandalorian? Do we know? Or how many was it before in season one and two? I think it was it eight? Eight? eight. I want to say eight. I want to say nine. Somewhere between eight and ten. Uh, in there somewhere. So you're going to get a good number of over weeks of overlap oh. where Pedro Pascal is going to be the star of probably the number one show in the world and the number two show right. in the world. And that also means it's probably like 14 weeks in totality of him just being on streaming. Yeah, just show. being the number one guy 14, in the world. 14, 15 weeks, yeah. Yeah, all the way through. So to me, this is pretty fantastic. Look, I, I love Mandalorian. Last of Us has the potential to... I mean, Last of Us has the potential to be Game of Thrones or uh, HBO's next Game of Thrones. I re like that's how good I think the sh the source material story of Last of Us and Last of Us Two is. I think it could be that next big one for HBO. I I, I don't know for sure. Maybe nobody watches it. No idea. But I, I think this is pretty exceptional. And it looks like Pedro Pascal is finally getting his due. Anyway, Rob, you're seeing this. What stands out to you? Well, I think he got his due in Equalizer Two. <laughs> he was the villain. <laughs> No, um, or Kingsman too. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I I think that this is a, a a great thing. I mean, look, sometimes it just plays out that actors show up in two big projects at the same time, even though because it takes a long time to make these things. I really like Pedro Pascal as an actor, despite the fact that I thought he was miscast or maybe it was rewritten, wrong, written the wrong way in Wonder Woman eighty four. Because I love the character of Maxwell Lord. Um, but I really love him as a performer. You and I both know that wasn't the only problem with Wonder Woman 84. Uh, yes, I guess. That, that's quite true. <laughs> quite true. Um, but I think this is great. And, you know, just because if you have, if it's Pedro Pascal's world and we're only going to live in it for a few months, more power to him. I mean, if The Last of Us, that show looks phenomenal. I mean, let's face it. That, those trailers, everything we've seen, and, and in terms of, of an adaptation of the source material, and then just as a show in its own right, I mean, going. For, have, well, have, I have to, who's who's running the show? Craig Mays, the man who made Chernobyl, right? I mean, that. I mean, you don't that by itself. Like, you don't even have to say last of us. Say, hey, guy, the guy who did Chernobyl, he's show running a new show coming out in, in Feb or January. That's all I need to know. Yeah. Period. And it's Last of Us. It's crazy. And you know, Craig Mazin is an Ivy League educated creator. He's he's an incredibly smart guy that kind of was kind of stuck in comedy for a while. And I kind of like to see him come out of the gate and do Chernobyl. I'm expecting, look, because it's him, I'm expecting huge things from Last of Us. And with everything we've seen from Mandalorian, including that leaked trailer or whatever, dude, come on. That third season looks, whether it's the retaking of Mandalore, they've set up, the, the table has been set. I expect a banquet of epic Star Wars proportions. And between, I mean, 
The funny thing is, is that the the feeling of these two shows could not be more different. The Mandalorian True, yeah. and The Last of Us. So it's going to be like, I bet we're even going to forget we're watching Pedro Pascal in both roles because they're so different. Here's a question. Has Pedro Pascal ever been given the true lead in a major Hollywood release film? I, I can't think of one off the top of my head. If any any of you guys in the room can think of one, I, I can't think of one. But if not, then that might be coming now. Could be. I mean, that, that's got to be on the dock for somebody. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Possibly the two biggest shows in the world during its time frame is going to be starring the same guy, and Pedro Pascal is going to be kind of leading the entertainment world for like a good 14 weeks or something like that. What do you guys think about that? Are you a huge fan of his? Maybe not. Whatever you think, jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to thank one of the sponsors of this episode, Wondery, and their official Lord of the Rings Rings of Power podcast. Your hosts, Felicia Day, and several special guests provide an inside look at the groundbreaking series and what it took to bring Middle Earth to life. Each of the episodes of the official podcast features exclusive interviews with the series showrunners, J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay, including the very first full breakdown of the incredible season finale. Felicia also goes behind the scenes with the cast and crew to bring you jaw-dropping stories and Easter eggs you won't want to miss. So watch The Rings of Power on Prime Video and listen to all eight episodes of the official The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power podcast for free on Amazon Music. Download the Amazon Music app now.